Hey, badass business owners, it's Tammy, and I'm back because I want to go over something that I hear. Uh, I'm just laughing because I can't get my hair right, but whatever. That's not what you're here for. You're here for some numbers because here's where we talk about your business numbers. Now, when I'm looking at people's profit and loss statement, when people call me up and they say, hey, Tammy, can you help me out? I want to understand my numbers better. And I ask to look at their profit and loss. Sometimes they're really proud of themselves because they are taking out a wage out of the PL and they're counting it, which is a great thing. But let's just say that for some people, most of the most common thing I see is people take out like $3,000 a month, $4,000. Uh, so they capture that employee wage, which is what we want to do. And they just do it as a set amount. Now, what I want you to look at is, remember, you got two different things going on. You have your profit and loss, and then you have your pricing. And we need to make sure that when you're pricing, that you are accounting for a fair wage when you're doing it, because this is what's going to make you and help you rather uh, hit your goals, hit your profit goals, cover your expenses, all that good stuff. Now, when you're taking out, say, $3,000 a month, that's $36,000 a year. Okay, so it's three times 12 months, $36,000 that you've taken out. Now, one way that you can find out if you're paying yourself a fair wage in the business is by just dividing some simple numbers. So for example, some of you are part-time, some of you are full-time, everybody works a different number of hours, but we're gonna take a look at several different examples. Now, there's two different ways that you work in your business, right? One is as a doer, an employee, and one is as a business owner. The business owner gets paid by the profits of the company. The employee you gets paid as an employee in the business, which is why a lot of times you're taking out those, those owner wages because that's for you working in the business. Now, let's just say, I've got a little cheat sheet here, but let's just say you work 30 hours a week as a doer, okay? You're actually doing things 30 hours a week. Well, 30 hours, and we're gonna go with 50 weeks, not 52, we're gonna assume you take a couple weeks off. 50 weeks out of the year, you're working those 30 hours as an employee, uh, that's gonna come up to 1,500 hours. And if you take the uh, $36,000 and divide it by the number of hours that you work in a year, so divided by 1,500 hours, that comes out to paying yourself $24 an hour and that's what that works out to so not too bad right okay but for most of you you're probably working more hours than that so i'm gonna take a look at if we just work different tiers if you worked 40 hours a week as an employee in the business at 50 weeks that's 2,000 hours the 36,000 divided by the 2,000 hours is 18 dollars an hour if you do 45 hours a week as an employee, that's 2250 hours, and that's $16 an hour. If you work 50 hours a week as an employee times 50 weeks is 2500, and that works out to $14.40. And if you happen to work 60 hours a week as an employee in the business, and let's just, this is for those of you that work like 70, 80 hours, because you're having to go home and do the uh, business owner stuff on top of that. So let's just say you're working 60 hours actually doing the creating the product or service um, or doing it uh, 50 weeks, it's going to be 3,000 hours. And if you divide that same $36,000 that you're paying yourself by that, it comes out to $12 an hour. Now, the question is, is that a fair wage? And is it your is your uh, business and your pricing covering those prices? So I'm all about you guys taking money out and I don't even have a big problem if you are doing a set wage that you put in there. Just remember, those are what you're accounting for are what you're paying yourself for being a doer in the business and making sure that it's fair. The important thing is that you're pricing and when you're setting your prices that you are accounting for that fair wage. So if a fair wage is $12, great. If it's $15, great. If it's $16, Great. Just make sure that when you're setting the prices, you are counting for that. So for example, if you are doing a service and you're there for two hours and you're paying a fair wage of $15 an hour, there needs to be in your cost of goods, $30 set aside to pay that. So you would have the cost of the, the materials or the ingredients plus this 30 hours, the two, two hours times $15. Then you've got to take out money for your expenses and then you're going to have the profit. And that's when you get paid paid as a business owner. So this is just a quick down and dirty. Uh, there's other videos. Make sure you check them out. I'll put one up here uh, where we talk about pricing and we'll continue to do more and more of these so we can get you guys really good at understanding pricing and paying yourself fairly for the different jobs that you do within your business. With that, I'm out of here. Watch this video. Don't forget. Go watch it. Go watch it.